So I've been trying to explore how poetry can make us more aware of ourselves and the world around us. It can help us see that we're unique individuals connected with each other beyond any difference of race or age or sexuality or gender. That if we can just speak our direct experience, it can, it can cross through time and space to another person in another world and another culture and communicate what it's like to be human. And that's what awareness is. It's about becoming more and more human. It's about even staying human. So again, I, in this uh, anthology, I came upon a poet, again, who I've been wanting to read, Hannah Lowe. Um, Hannah was born in Ilford, in that's London, um, to an English mother and a Jamaican Chinese father. And I've been wanting to read Hannah's poems for an hour. I've never so many poems and so many poets, I never quite got around to reading it. But just reading this short poem, another sonnet, this time from her, her collection Chick, which is published again by Blood Axe, immediately, immediately made me want to read more. And again, that's one of the, the values of anthologies. You can just read them and think, oh, I'll follow, I'll follow up that connection with that person, find out more about them, read more of their, of their poems. So see what you think of this. It's called Dance Class. The best girls posed like poodles at a show, and Betty Finch in lemon gauze and wrinkles swept her wooden cane along the rows to lock off knees in place and turn our ankles. I was a scandal in that class, big-footed, giant in lycra, Joker in my tap shoes, slapping on the offbeat while a hundred tappers hit the wood. I missed the cues each time. After, in the foyer, Dad, a black man, stood among the Essex mothers clad in leopard skin. He'd shake his keys and scan the bloom of dancers where I hid and whispered, to another ballerina. He's the cab my mother sends for me. Yeah, it's a lovely poem. Um, and again, it doesn't need any explanation, does it? You, you can just imagine it. You can imagine uh, Hannah's experience being in this dance class. Um, I was a scandal in that class, big-footed giant in lycra, joker in my tap shoes. This lovely poignant sense that so many of us have, probably all of us have. That's what poetry can do is reach out from the intimate to the all and say we've all felt out of place. We've all felt like the wrong person in the wrong body at the wrong time. We've always all felt like we don't quite fit. And then what makes this poem, of course, doubly poignant is her father coming to meet her, this Japanese Chinese father. You can see a photograph of him on the, on the cover of Chick and uh, him looking for her. And I know that feeling of going to pick up your daughter when she's just finished a class and you're sort of scanning all the place. I love that word, and scan the bloom of dancers, because of course they're all in their dance regalia. And then whispering to the ballerina, he's the cab my mother sends for me. So that you were disowning your father, it's sort of tragic, and yet you know that feeling of just not wanting to stick out. You know that feeling, and you might regret that feeling, but children are very conservative by nature, it seems to me. Um, so in that little poem there, Hannah really sort of shares with you her life, just a tiny bit of her life, which tells you so much about race, about being different, about a world in which difference is difficult, sometimes difficult for the people who feel different and sometimes for the different people who don't. But let's open out to include more and more people. Let's, let's be at a dance class together and, and scan the bloom of dancers.